Hello and welcome from the O2AI Europe 2017. I'm Christina from WeConnect and I'm here with Joyce Farrell from Stanford University. Joyce, Hi. welcome to the conference. Thank and you. Thank you so much for taking the time to participate in the interview. Oh, sure. Um, as a start, could you just introduce yourself and tell us a bit more about your professional background? I am at Stanford University. I'm in the Department of Electrical Engineering. Um, I run an industry affiliates program called the Stanford Center for Image Systems Engineering. And it's an industrial affiliates program, which means that we partner with industry and faculty and graduate students work in collaboration with industry. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually had a background um, working in industry for a long time. I worked 15 years at Hewlett Packard. Um, then I um, joined a startup with some friends called Shutterfly, which does online uh, posting of images right at the beginning of digital photography. So it was right at the beginning of digital photography. We thought people would print more, but they didn't. They just share their images. Um, but it was a really interesting experience. And then I went to, um, to Stanford to um, sort of bridge this gap between industry and the university in terms of doing research on imaging systems. You've also brought a case study with you that you're presenting later on this mm -hmm. afternoon on image systems simulation and challenges right. in combination with machine learning and AI. Tell us a bit more about that. My background has been in imaging um, and um, particularly in the last decade I've been working on image system simulation tools for people who are designing digital cameras. Um, most recently the camera that's in your uh, cell phone, so camera phones. Mm -hmm. um, and I've really watched the progression of, from film to digital photography to now uh, camera phone replaces your consumer camera. You probably just take pictures with your camera phone now. You don't yeah. have a separate camera, right? Yeah. So much. it's just amazing the kind of quality um, and, and what all the technology that got there has been very interesting and I've kind of um, been involved a bit in um, building tools for people who are designing those cameras. Um, and that's because basically it's a interdisciplinary team. Somebody has to know about optics, they have to know about sensors, they have to know about image processing, mm -hmm. visual perception in this case. So um, what we did, and these are very diverse uh, expertise. People often specialize in one but not the others. Mm -hmm. So at Stanford we actually put together a graduate program where you learn all those different areas. And we, we train students to have the breath. And um, what I did as a, uh, on the side as a kind of a company, consulting company, um, was with a colleague, a developed image system simulation software so that you can simulate all those different parts. You can simulate the optics, the sensor, um, the image processing, the display, and make predictions about the image quality that you're going to get. So you don't have to build it. You can do a lot of work in you know, virtual prototyping. Recently got interested in autonomous vehicles because I think um, basically we've really gotten to the point where we're not going to get big jump improvements in image quality. People are pretty happy with the image quality. So if you're working with a sensor company, if you're a company like Omnivision or Sony or a company like that, they're probably looking to make <clears throat> more inroads and have more innovation in imaging sensors for autonomous vehicles. The pitch I'm going to give this afternoon is basically that our digital cameras to this point have been optimized for human perception. You know, so things look really nice and um, good image quality. But that's not necessarily what a machine needs to do the machine uh, learning tasks. And so I think we need to rethink the design of imaging sensors and certainly rethink the image processing pipeline. Yeah. So I, I kind of transferring my tools into the simulation environment for autonomous vehicles so that if you're a company like Omnivision, Sony, you can play around with different imaging systems and see how that would affect performance on machine learning tasks. Or if you're in machine learning, you could see how a difference in the um, design, whether you use monochrome, color, or whatever kind of camera you're using, is going to have an impact on your performance of your algorithm. Overall, what impact do you think will image systems actually have in the near future, just looking a few years ahead, mm -hmm. in combination with machine learning and AI? You touched it briefly, but... Well, I think there's a lot of really interesting questions about how you would design a, uh, an imaging sensor um, for autonomous vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, it might be very different. Um, certainly, um, it doesn't necessarily have good quality. I don't think a machine cares about how it looks, if it looks nice. It's, it, what it really cares about is um, possibly how you accentuate the edges, making it much easier for detecting an object, for tracking an object. So what's very exciting to me is going to be the next stage of innovation in imaging sensors. And so I, I tracked you know, the beginning of imaging sensors from CCD to CMOS. It was 
a lot of debate. People, and when I was at HP, would say, oh, we'll never make a CMOS sensor camera. It's just too noisy. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what never, is in everybody's camera. It's probably in that camera, too. It's a CMOS sensor. So we yeah. just all take that for granted. But I was there at the beginning. I think this is going to be another push, and it's going to be very exciting for me to watch. Mm -hmm. What is going to happen with imaging sensors um, for autonomous vehicles is going to be very different from what's in your cell phone camera. Yeah. And uh, if you've just um, spoken or you introduced your background to us as well, and then you mentioned that you've only recently touched the topic on autonomous driving. Right. I'd like to be interested what personally really interests you about autonomous driving, the overall topic. What drove me to this particular involvement is understanding that um, we really, there's not a lot of innovation that's going to happen in. Um, uh, imaging sensors for your camera phone. Although there is a lot of really interesting work on 360 surround video and things like that, and we're involved in that as well, to me it seemed like there we could make a contribution in this area because a lot of my friends are in machine learning and they always like to say that machine learning is hardware agnostic. It is not hardware agnostic. <laughs> so so the, the point of coming in here is to kind of bring something into this community where I, I really admire all of the work and the innovation. It's very, very exciting what they can do with, um, and I think our contribution may end up be very small, but it certainly will be very helpful for um, designing imaging sensors to, to make them do these tasks a lot better. And I don't think machine learning is going to be hardware agnostic. I think we're really going to be able to improve it. As a lot of people have said in the conference, if you have bad data in, you have bad networks out. Yeah. And so we need to think about how to get better data for these networks. What are you hoping to get away from the uh, conference? What are your expectations? Well, I'm learning a lot about um, how machine learning is used. I'm learning a lot about the different uses of simulation. So simulation is being used. I do see a gap here, a little niche where we can make a contribution on improving the sensor models. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm taking away from this is just all the creativity and um, what people are doing both in terms of large companies like BMW and Ford, but also these kind of smart ups like uh, startups, <laughs> smart startups, uh, um, like um, Emotive. There was another one that was this morning, I'm blanking on the name, but it's really interesting to see where the startups yeah. are coming in. Thank you so much for sharing Great. your insights. Yeah. It's much appreciated. Sure. And then enjoy the rest of the Yeah, time and thing. thank you for inviting me.